Welcome back, boys and girls. Today we're going to look at the story Summer Color. Again, this is written by Diana Murray. We've read a bunch of books by her so far. And we're going to take a look at that. Before we get into it, though, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so. All right, let's get into this one. Summer Color. I bet you this story is about summer. If you didn't laugh at that, you probably should have. The hot summer sun lights the sky like a torch as folks fan themselves on the shady back porch. The sparrows keep chirping a song, soft and mellow, and sunflowers reach up with petals so yellow. Mama serves peaches and cold lemonade. It's hard to stay cool, even here in the shade. Daddy and uncle bring chairs from the shed. Our cousins share ice pops, so swirly and red. The color red, clearly. But far past our yard and the little stone well. What's next? Beyond the tall me meadow. Where quiet deer dwell. Those are good pictures of deer. And over the hill where the willow trees sway, the clouds in the sky turn a dark shade of gray. I'm saying that was hard like that so you can hear the rhyme. The wind starts to stir. A few drops pitter patter. And critters that creep in the grass quickly scatter. Rain batters down on the blustery scene as cardinals fly into treetops so green. Splashing and splattering streak after streak, the rain soaks the earth and sweeps up the creek. Where frogs start to croak and the water snakes slink and wildflowers glisten with petals so pink. It rains on the cliffs where the egrets take flight and down on the waterfall, misty and white. It rains on the lake where the paddle boats rock and drenches the people who fish from the dock. The picnickers pack up their salads and pie and run with the bright purple blankets held high. It rains on the meadow where, where cozy mice hide. Then here in our yard as we hurry inside. Our soggy shoes squeak when we race through the door. We crowd by the window and watch the rain pour. It falls on the chairs and the swing set out back on the brown wooden fence and the shed painted black. A flash and a crash fill the thundery sky, but we're snug in our soft orange towels, all dry. The storm drifts away and reveals the bright sun. We head to the yard for some more fun. The rain left behind a refreshing cool breeze and silverly droplets, droplets that sparkle on trees. And plenty of puddles for playing in two. And in each reflection, a clear sky of blue. We skip and we jump, we twirl and we dash. Our hot summer day ends with a splash. All right, let's take a look at the lesson. 
again, when we look, when we meet together for virtual students, that will be in a Zoom meeting, and we will talk about this in that meeting. For the A and B students, when we meet face to face on your hybrid days, be prepared to discuss how you can help the character in this book with the superpower that you chose from the week one lesson. Next, we have vocabulary. It says, write a sentence or draw a picture to define each term. There are six terms. The first one we have is torch, swirly, dwell, blustery, slink, and reflection. You can draw a picture for those, or you can write a little sentence if you can. Critical thinking. Answer the question as completely as possible. You're going to draw a picture of summer of a summer day. Make sure to include at least one thing for each of the following colors, all eight of them. You need a, something that's red, something that's white, something that's yellow, something that's purple, something that's green, something that's black, something that's orange, and something that is blue. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button, and we will see you next video.